Hi, this is Abdullah from UCLA. I'm presenting our medical image segmentation work, which most recently got accepted to ICPR 2020. This work focuses on performing domain generalization for generalized and improved medical image segmentation. A fundamental part of machine learning is the problem of generalization. That is how to make sure that a trained model performs well on unseen examples. The problem is exacerbated due to the underrepresentation of some rare medical conditions, varying imaging configurations, modalities, among other factors. So if the unseen data has different distribution, that is domain shift exists, the problem is significantly more difficult. As on the top, you can see just acquiring MRI data with three different scanners results in completely different data distributions. When a model trained on data from one source does not generalize well or fails to predict proper segmentation for data from a different source, even uh, the smallest changes in the statistics uh, as compared to the training data can cause a model to fail completely. In that case, very non-intuitive and error-prone segmentation results can be generated even by the most sophisticated deep learning model. The straining convolutional neural networks on medical imaging data for segmentation tasks lacks robustness when the IID assumption breaks and they make terrible mistakes for out of distribution data. That is an example how a sophisticated CNN model fails to generalize for on domain shift. A unit model is trained on segmenting lungs from chest x ray on some data set. So the model, when the model is trained on the same data set, trained and tested on the same data set, performs well as expected. You can see the in domain prediction. Then cross domain one shows the segmentation prediction on the same x ray image when the model is trained on a second data set. And cross domain two shows prediction of uh, on an X-ray image from the second data set when the model is trained on the first data set. See how terribly uh, the same model fails in cross-domain prediction. So taking all this into consideration, our learning model are expected to learn from small label data and the generalization should be consistent across the domain. Usually domain shift is tackled via domain adaptation technique where we need labeled data from the source domain and labeled or unlabeled data from the target domain. But this is not clinically viable as we cannot just assume to have access to target data during training time. So deviating from this, we rather follow domain generalization approach when we don't need target data during training time. So we performed a segmentation task for two particular applications, retinal vessel segmentation from fundoscopic images and lung segmentation from chest X-ray images. Here you can see the disparity in the distributions among five uh, different fundoscopic image datasets and three different chest X-ray image datasets that we used in our experiment. In order to ensure out of sample distribution, we employed a transformation function that transforms input examples by applying different geometric transformations. And then the transformed examples are passed to the model without any label information. So for the in-domain training of the model, we extend the supervised learning to somewhat semi-supervised. With this, the scope of the training data distribution is enlarged. This not only adds diversity in our training examples, but also improves the generalizability for cross-domain predictions. We use five uh, fundoscopic image datasets for uh, vascular segmentation and three uh, chest X-ray datasets for uh, pulmonary segmentation. As you can see, the datasets are of varying sizes. And they are of uh, varying imaging configurations, sources, and number of abnormality cases. So there exists a large domain gap. We separately trained on chest and area datasets. Uh, in retinal vascular segmentation, then tested on all five. In lung segmentation tasks, we trained on all three and tested on all three this time. Here is the schematic of our proposed uh, progressive adversarial semantic segmentation, or PASS in short. The segmentation mask generator L takes either the input 
x or the transformed input x a via the transformation function g of x. The generated side outputs add four different resolutions are passed to the corresponding discriminators. So we progressively extend the architecture of the discriminators starting from D8 to D. So D8 is uh, one eighth of the input resolution and D uh, is the final output at our expected resolution. Since the transform inputs are not paired with uh, any corresponding ground truth, uh, so the supervision only applied to the non-transform inputs that are directly passed to the model. We employed a KL divergence to penalize the model for not maintaining the similar logic-wise distributions for the label data and transform data that came without label. From each of the discriminators, we uh, calculate feature loss by collecting feature maps from their intermediate convolutions. We used shape encoder E to penalize the model for not maintaining similar shapes in the predictive segmentation as in the ground truth segmentation mask. The encoder takes a stacked input uh, ground truth and stacked input uh, prediction to get the latent uh, representation Z or Z hat. And then we calculated mean square error between them to get the uh, loss from the shape encoder. This visualizes the in-domain and cross-domain segmentation for retinal vessel segmentation when uh, tested on an image from the test dataset. So the model, when trained on area dataset, this is the prediction for the test data image. And this is in-domain when the model is trained and tested on the test dataset. We compared the performance of our proposed past model against a number of baselines and instead of that models. The quantitative evaluation, as you can see, depicts that our proposed model outperforms all the baseline and instead of that models by a wide margin. Moreover, the domain gap is significantly reduced. Similarly, consistent segmentation performance is observed via qualitative and quantitative evaluations in the lung segmentation task for both in-domain and cross-domain prediction. As you can see on the top, the predictive segmentation for test emails from the MCU dataset, this is the ground truth, and this is uh, the prediction when the model is trained and tested on the MCU dataset. And this is the prediction when the model is trained on JSRT and tested on MCU. This is uh, the prediction when the model is trained on the CSN dataset and tested on the MCU dataset. And the superior performance of our pass over the pass without G of X, the transformation function, demonstrates uh, the inclusion, uh, justifies the inclusion of the transformation function as well as the semi-supervised learning nature of our model. So in conclusion, we can say we performed a domain generalization for improved medical image segmentation without recurring domain specific data. Our test model validated against eight public uh, datasets shows effectiveness in vascular and pulmonary segmentation tasks by significantly reducing domain gap. In future, we are planning to employ active learning in our model and validate on more complex segmentation tasks like 3D medical image segmentation. So thanks for your time and attention. Uh, you are welcome in my poster session. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or any kind of feedback. Thanks.